Hey guys, what's up? It's Denver Kid, and today I'm here uh, with 248 a little bit. He's AFKing, I think. Um, but we are going to do a, a new type of video, at least new for me. Uh, we are going to do a tutorial today for those of you guys who play on... Uh, guys or girls, I guess, who play on um, faction servers. So, faction PvP, generally, this is, this is going to be for you guys. Or even your survival worlds, or... Uh, I don't know, mostly bucket servers where you're going to be able to get your... Uh, actual spawner blocks here <clears throat> and just for the sake of the uh, tutorial uh, this is this is going to be this is actually going to be my test world guys so over here I'm going to have some farms uh, some vaults and some traps uh, and other things that we're going to build uh, and show you guys uh, how, to, how to actually make them and make all these cool things on the actual server so uh, as I said today we're going to do spawners uh, grinders um, is the term I guess that's generally used but uh, they use a actual spawner block um, so let's just get right into it guys there's a few questions we need to answer why do we need XP or why do we need XP or mob farms um, say for example you want to enchant a pickaxe you want to get um, you want to make a pickaxe and you want you want a pretty nice one so maybe efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3 that's going to be like a level 30 enchant, guys, so you're going to need to grind some mobs up for that. Um, so that's really important, and you can also enchant armor and repair things, combine tools and armor together and stuff. Um, so that's why they're useful. And you can also get the uh, loot. So we'll look at some grinders that we don't even get any XP from, uh, and they're just for the actual uh, loot. And there's Took. Uh, probably just checking on things, I'm not sure. Um, what do we need to make the actual mob grinder? That depends, guys, on what type of grinder you're going to build. Uh, these ones here use basically stone, water, um, like a water bucket. This one uses four. That one you can use two. Um, and that's about it other than your spawner block. Uh, and then these ones are a bit more intricate. They use a good amount of hoppers or redstone, except for that one down there. We'll get to that. That's called the blaze grinder on a budget is what I like to call it, guys. Um, and can we fit our grinder within, this is an important one, can we fit our grinder within the typical 16 by 16 claim? Uh, most of these, I'm pretty sure actually all of these will fit within a 16 by 16 claim, guys. So um, I think they all actually fit within, I think the biggest one is 13 by 13, and I think it's that one right there. Um, so yeah, those all fit within a 16 by 16 claim. Very nice, guys, you can protect them. Um, can our, another important question, uh, depending on the type of mob that you are wanting to build um, or to grind, um, you're going to need to determine if it can be moved with water or not. Uh, and then how OP can you be, guys? So let's just look at this. This is the basic setup here for your typical uh, uh, spawner room. So let's just look at this. This is one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four on that side, four here and four here. So it's a nine by nine room. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the same going this way. Uh, and it is centered around that spawner block. So I'm using the sponge here to represent that. And the screen wall is just at the level that that's at. So, and then of course, guys, the walls actually go one out from that. So you know, f to build the actual wall, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then an extra one out. So, but the actual room here just needs to be that big. So that's basically the cutout there, guys. Um, that 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 really helped me to understand how to get uh, good spawns. I was always putting them in small rooms. They were spawning on top of the spawner, around the spawner, killing me or you know annoying me. Um, so that will keep them within the room there, guys. So we'll move right into the uh, we'll move right into the first grinder here. This is going to be the most simple one, guys. This is going to be for those of you who have maybe. Um, maybe one spawner. So definitely one. Uh, maybe you're not a donator. You don't have permissions to pick them up or you can't place them or buy them. This is going to be the one for you. Uh, and we'll just take this water away and check this room out. So as you guys can see, maybe already, this looks uh, fairly similar to what I just showed you. It goes four out uh, on either side. Um, and then the I actually I like to sp I like to give them a three tall gap so one two three and then the spawner is on that layer right there um, and then you can just place these blocks on top to prevent uh, any skeletons or zombies or whatever from spawning on the top and then all you need other than this room 
uh, is four water buckets. So just like this. In the corners, guys. Only in the corner. All four corners. Uh, and you can see that that just spawned a few uh, without the water there. Uh, any more than one spawner, and this will generally clog up. Uh, and we don't want that, guys, because we want to uh, we want to make our grinder very efficient. So we'll now look here. Uh, they are going to drop down this tunnel. It's going to help uh, with our efficiency for killing them. So we'll just test these guys here. We're just hitting them with stone. It's maybe like two or three hits each. So that's really nice. Uh, but if you don't have room for this tunnel, uh, by all means, just build this room right down here on the ground and then just maybe drop them one block into the middle here. Um, it's quite nice. I did forget one thing over here, guys. Uh, how can we increase the spawn rates of our spawners? This is extremely important, guys, uh, because you can have a huge mob farm. You can have, you know, 10, 20 spawners in it, and you, your spawns are going to be, your spawns can be very limited, and a big problem is kids will build this, build their spawners, uh, and they won't check out the surrounding area, so you guys are going to need to tunnel down, you're going to need to find any caves, uh, any other spawners, you're definitely going to want to pick those up or probably get rid of those completely or light up the rooms. Um, but what I would recommend is digging down, looking for caves uh, with a few stacks of torches and just spamming torches like I did kind of over there. Um, and that should increase the spawn rates of your spawner. That should decrease the spawn rates uh, in the actual cave. So that's extremely important. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. So this is the most simple one, guys. Uh, for one spawner, one spawner. This is good for a personal vault or something. Um, I don't really uh, grind skeletons though, but a lot of people like it for the bones and the uh, arrows and the bows. And even the armor, the chain armor you can get and stuff. That's quite nice. Let's look at one now uh, that you can put a few more spawners into. So Denver Kid, I have more than I have more than one spawner. I need I need some more XP. So that's going to be this this grinder right here, guys. And I'm actually just going to do something quickly here. We're going to actually show you guys how to limit, how to drop them all into one general area. So we're just going to build that shelf there. We'll place the water here, as you can see there. Uh, but basically, guys, this is just one, two, three, four out from this spawner uh, in every direction. So for every spawner you're ha you'll have um, on the edge here, so these are both obviously on the edge, you're going to go out four, uh, and then you're going to go out four, four, and then the same for this spawner over here. So four, four, and four. Uh, and they'll spawn perfectly. They all spawn in the room here. Um, and then as you can see, they're carried down. And now, um, this actually isn't the way that I prefer it, but it is more efficient. So I'll show it to you this way. They are collected in this one area right here. And that's that shelf that we built right there. Um, and as you can see, you can make this one quite small too. Um, or you can make it a lot bigger. You can make this you can make this thing huge. You can put, you know, many, many, many spawners in a little cube. Uh, and they will spawn a ton of spawners, and it'll be really nice for XP, guys. And then we see over here, we just have a few hoppers that just might collect some of the loots that we get. Um, but honestly, I do not prefer it to be like this. I will show you guys how I actually like it. Um, so we'll take this water away. And we'll just get rid of this shelf here. And we'll come outside and have a look. So now they're going to spawn all over the place. And it gives you a chance to just run back and forth. Smack them. It's not as boring as just standing here and hitting them. Um, but this is a helpful, hint, a helpful hint, guys. Swinging your sword will actually uh, in increase your hunger. Uh, if you're playing, you know, obviously a survival PvP server. Uh, but shooting a bow and arrow does not. So if you get some bows and arrows from the actual skeletons, uh, yeah, shoot them. And you can also drop them, guys. You could build this up uh, and make this into a tunnel right here. Uh, and you could drop these skeletons as well um, if, you, if you want to uh, make them take that fall damage. But we'll just throw all this stuff away. Uh, and we'll look at this one. Yeah, we'll look at this one last right over there, guys. This blaze spawner on a budget. We'll look at this one now. Uh, this one is probably the most... Yeah, this is the most intricate... Uh, and the most expensive um, grinder to build. But this is going to be for those of you who want to build blaze grinders for the double XP, for the blaze rods, um, and all the, you know, the loot that comes out of them. The blaze rods are, are really nice for potions. Uh, you can 
find the uh, you can combine them with ender pearls and find the uh, fortresses on their servers and as you can see here we're getting a ton of uh, blaze drops here and this is big enough for four people to whack at it uh, so that's quite nice let's go up take a look this is actually for four spawner blocks guys so we'll just find a gap we've already made here uh, so we'll have a look here We'll actually have a look in peaceful and we'll just see how this works so there's all these pressure plates here guys this does look fairly confusing if you uh, don't know a lot about redstone like myself um, but let's just have a look here so I am flying so let's say I'm a blaze and I do spawn right, right here up against the wall oh they're on peaceful so let's just say I'm the blaze uh, and I spawn as you can see there the setup here the uh, pressure plates and the repeaters and back there the sticky pistons uh, push you off so this activates the sticky piston and that pushes the stone out and pushes the entity which would be the uh, blaze it pushes it in so it will push it down into the little collection area it's a nice little automatic collecting area that doesn't use water uh, but it is it is going to be a little bit more expensive on your pvp servers guys for those sticky pistons uh, but we will look at one that doesn't use any sticky pistons. So, but for you guys who do want to do this, because this is much more efficient, uh, this is this is a little cutout of how this works. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, this is a little bit more clear with the glass. Um, you have the pressure plates, and then you have your repeaters, and then you have uh, one, actually one back and one up from that. You have your sticky piston. So. There you see you just would build a little shelf out like this and then you would add your sticky piston right here. So you would add the sticky piston here. Then you would add the repeater here and then this here. Now watch when we add the... Now watch, it's not going to do anything because there's no block on it. So that's why you need to place... I just use glass. But you need to place the glass there and that'll push you off. Um, and then as you can see up here, I expanded it. Now the way you're going to expand it, guys, is... So as you can see here, we have, uh, let's just um, grab some stone, Ooh. grab some stone, and we'll just show you how to expand this. So let's just pretend you have your uh, little wall here that they're going to be pushed off of, uh, and then you're going to put your sticky pistons right there, like so. And now to basically to expand this guys, you're just going to build above the block that the sticky piston is pushing. So in this case, the glass, you're going to build above that. And that's what your pressure plates are going to go on. Now you're going to build that little shelf. So if you guys, you know, if you're doing that in survival, you're probably going to do that like this. Um, but for the sake of creative, come on. Uh, and then your sticky piston would go just right there. And then here goes your repeaters. Doesn't matter what tick they're on guys. Uh, it really doesn't. We'll just push them off right away. So there you see that. Uh, and then if you want to expand it again, you can just keep expanding this and expanding this and make it huge for a ton of blaze spawners or uh, withers or, or uh, wither skeleton spawners, if you will. Um, we'll just have a look at how it actually works. See, we'll have it warm up here. Um, we'll just take a look in here at the top of how that how that works. Of course they just spawn so they're not going to spawn again so there we can see we follow this guy down he hits all the uh, pressure plates and he's just fairly conveniently knocked down there we already have probably about eight blazes down there so let's just go take a look so yeah look at that quite nice let's even go game mode uh, zero we'll just see how many levels we can get from these guys do be careful, be there, we'll light you on fire. So we almost leveled up at level 43, which is not bad at all. <laughs> Go away. Um, but this is going to be the most efficient grinder that you guys can probably build with any mob. If you can build this with, if you can build this with your skeleton spawners, I would definitely recommend doing this over that one. Um, but as I said, it does use a lot of sticky pistons. As you can see, there a ton of them are being used, a ton of repeaters. Um, so that's really up to you guys. But now we'll move on. We will.